giving you introduction now for ui path i am just giving you an introduction about rpa now so once rpa introduction is completed then we'll go for ui path slowly okay so let's start with an rpa wherein it's it's a kind of solution you are providing uh, the kind of tasks are you are maintaining in, in your regular day to day uh, and, uh, processes for example uh, as a developer let's let's assume in such a way that as a developer you are configuring something okay you are doing some database configurations you are doing some application configuration and all and you are doing you are doing some data analysis and all that or else you are performing some task of creating some flow charts business flow diagrams and all that so this generally what have been these are all the activities which an individual perform manually understand these are all the activities okay. which a person will do manually as a part of his profile either he belongs to a database administrator or he belongs to an developer or he belong to a business analyst and all whatever the whatever the activities is he performing are purely at the manual tasks means based on his ability and all you are doing okay but without human intervention whatever the activity as an individual you are performing whatever the activity are you performing in replace to that on behalf of you whatever the activity a robot used to play will be called as a robotic process automation stands for just write down point of robotic process automation just write down this do you have a book and all okay yeah 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 you, pl you please write down i'll just tell you you can write down it's a solution because if you have running notes you can have a better understand okay it's yeah, a, it's a solution okay uh, to automate okay the day to day manual tasks configurations and analysis it's a solution to automate the day to day manual tasks configurations and analysis this is what exactly an rpa stands for okay so how you are dividing this rpa you rpa you are dividing into three parts one we call it as robotic second we call it as process third we call it as automation understand so these are the three parts means wherever the integration among robotic process and automation which stands for rpa means robotic doesn't mean the kind of action what a human is doing the kind of complexity what the tasks a robot uh, or a manual is doing that will be automated that will be automated or that will be captured by the programmed by the computer which further generally whatever the tools are we are using a uh, different different tools will be used for that ui path or uh, we have blue prism we have uh, automation anywhere we have open span so different different tools we have and all so to robot to robotic all the automation what are all is happening and all everything is comes under the robotic part and coming for process is concerned the kind of steps you are following let us do that uh, you would like to deploy an application what will you do what activity you perform to deploy an application hmm. you write the deployment yeah. procedures yeah. you write a deployment yeah. procedures yeah. and the steps you follow yeah. absolutely so yeah. the process what are all uh, the step by step procedure are you following if you can convert mm -hmm. as a uh, process which can be automated in regular intervals will it be fine to you will you feel happy of that right will yeah, you feel happy yeah. so in, in spite of without human intervention a process can be automated which we call it as process okay. understand yeah the process as a developer or as a person what the tasks are you doing that can be processed by a sequence of steps this can be done through a recording this can be done through a recording process in robotic process automation wherein you have different different recording procedures we have we can do desktop recording we can do web recording or we can do that uh, uh, what we call uh, we can do uh, citrix recording every recordings can be means whatever the activity let us assume that your activity you are you have followed some sequence of steps to deploy the application let us assume okay so once you start working on recording part whatever the activity are you are doing automatically it will get recorded understand mm -hmm. automatically yeah. it will get recorded whenever you want you can start run whenever you can press enter and run called as run 
automatically that recording process will happen sequentially so whenever times whatever times in how many times you want to uh, you want to uh, see the sequences what you have followed so far can be using by recording option we have a recording option i'll show you i'll open a visual pa mm -hmm. path studio and all i'll explain you that in next stages that's what we call it as process mm -hmm. work. next we call it as automation automation doesn't mean whatever the process are you are doing that you are converting into an automation kind of stuff using some tools and techniques so for that whatever are the tools we are using in all we called as a ui path and all that clear just write down these points mm -hmm. i'll explain and i'll tell you the process so that you just rpa stands for mm -hmm. r r stands for robotic is an entity mm -hmm. i'll tell you you just wrote down that right down that's it it's an entity oh, okay. Mm -hmm. which is capable of being programmed by a computer mm -hmm. for doing complex tasks mm -hmm. for doing complex mm -hmm. tasks mm -hmm. is known as a robot mm -hmm. okay. right so what is meant by process then a sequence of steps, sequence of steps. that lead to a meaningful activity a sequence of steps that lead to a meaningful activity is called as a process okay understand yeah and next we call it as automation when a task happens automatically okay automation doesn't mean uh, whatever all you have done so that will be automated in spite of without uh, uh, human intervention uh, this can be done automatically that is what we call it as automation when the task okay. happen automatically will be called as automation this is what an rpa stands for this is what we okay. call it as robotic cross automation in this robotic process automation okay. we have different different tools first tool we could will be called as blue prism okay and second we have automation mm -hmm. anywhere and third we mm -hmm. have ui path next we have open span so on so there are different different uh, tools for them so any one tool can be learned by a person who wants to enter into the field of an rpa because you cannot be an expert in two three fields right practically which is not possible mm -hmm. you cannot be an expert mm -hmm. in two three fields you can be an expert in only any one in any any one of any of the tool probably uh, you are mm -hmm. you are learning ui path or someone can learn blue prism or all that but it's purely depends upon their interest and all that so these are the generally tools which are available in rpa and what rpa mm -hmm. tasks do what rpa do what is the activity an rpa will do so rpa can configure the applications by using rpa what you can do you can Con you can configure the application. the application you can enter the mm -hmm. data whatever the data okay. you'd like to enter you can enter it next you can do validation of the client files whatever the clients have been given the files and all that that can be validated by you understand okay. and you mm -hmm. can create test datas you can do mm -hmm. uh, you can do data loading and all that and you can generate mm -hmm. reports okay if you can mm -hmm. configure everything before prior to that automatically all these processes will takes care of what what are all will takes care of one is about application configuration you can configure the applications you can enter data you can validate the client files you can create test data you can create mm -hmm. data loads and all that whereas report generations report it could be different different reports which is required for your business process and all that those reports can also be generated using robotic process automation you're clear yeah. Yeah. Okay. so what solutions finally a robotic process automation will gives you with now we have discussed about the tasks 